You've let Cookie or Biscuit out to play on a stand or perch. But now it's time for your feathered friend to go back inside the cage. However, that stubborn creature has other ideas and has absolutely no intention of doing as it's told. It's a given that a pet bird should have plenty of freedom spending lots of time outside of its cage. Conscientious owners should see to it that their bird do not spend their lives imprisoned, but rather they provide additional territories similar to what a bird might have in the wild. Providing your bird with a play stand or a tree perch helps to meet its needs for exercise and stimulation and helps to ensure a happier, well-adjusted bird. You've done that and seen to your bird's needs. So you should have a well-behaved budgie, right? Wrong. Your darling biscuit may quite happily enter his cage most of the time, but other times, just like a truculent child, he may balk and refuse to do as he's supposed to. Realistically speaking, there are times when a bird has to go back inside its cage. An owner may have to go away for some hours and the cage is the safest place for the bird to be when no human is near to keep an eye on things. Normally, a bird returns willingly to its cage at night to roost and if it's a talker, it may even ask to go to its cage when it feels sleepy. But trying to get a bird to go back inside its cage in the daytime may be a different matter entirely. The budgie may be having a moody day and just wants to be left undisturbed. Or it's happily playing or grooming and does not want to be interrupted. Or it's enjoying being close to its humans, content to be near the everyday goings on in the household. You are now asking it to do something it doesn't want to do and a budgie has a mind and a will of its own. An owner should know a number of ways to gain a bird's cooperation when it needs to spend time inside its cage. This video discusses effective methods to deal with a resistant bird. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Your bird may have the occasional off day, and while you normally would let it rest quietly and allow it to choose whether to stay in its cage or rest on a perch, depending on your circumstances, you may need to return it to its cage. If your bird doesn't want to be disturbed, Mr. Grumpy may let you know it by lunging in order to warn you away. If lunging doesn't work, your bird may ramp things up a notch and reach down and latch. A bird should never be allowed to use biting to avoid stepping up and returning to its cage. A way to circumvent this behavior is a method called the double-handed swoop. Instead of offering one hand or finger, you bring both hands under your bird's belly while instructing the bird to stand up. You extend a finger or a hand, which gets promptly chomped on. Cookie is trying to get his own way and get you to back off. By using the double-handed swoop, your bird will be busy watching your hands coming in from either side of its head and while trying to process this information, will obediently step up. The double-handed swoop is an extremely effective method to avoid getting bitten. As you approach the open cage door, your smart budgie just might fly away. You can avoid this contest of wills by implementing an effective method of returning a bird to its cage. This involves actually backing the bird into the cage. With the bird in hand, position the bird so that he is facing away from the cage with his bottom pointed towards the open cage door. The bird cannot see the opening, so it doesn't latch onto the side. Backing a bird into the cage is a safe and effective method of returning a bird to its quarters. There's a simple trick to get your bird to go back inside its cage voluntarily. This involves placing a favorite food treat inside the cage and then walking away and seemingly ignoring the bird. Now, a wily bird will likely keep a sharp eye out for you after it has entered the cage so that it can evacuate quickly. It still has no intention of having to stay in its cage and only entered because it couldn't resist the food treat. But a bird in this frame of mind will move like lightning if it thinks you are going to close the cage door. So it will watch to see if you plan on locking it in. 
A smart owner acts busy and seemingly ignores the bird while slowly working their way towards the cage, waiting for the bird to become less vigilant. Once the bird is busily investigating the food in its dish, the owner moves quickly to close the cage door. Mission accomplished. A bird is not only smart, but can be very, very determined. At all times, owners should deal perceptively and kindly with their feathered friends while retaining the upper hand. Watch next. How to know if a parakeet is right for you. Or, why do humans keep pets?